Hello world! In this video I'll show you one of DaVinci Resolve's coolest new features, the object mask. Very easily you can learn how to make a masking like this. And while object masking and all the other cool new features based on AI technology in DaVinci Resolve might sound intimidating and might sound like you need a high level of technical skills and fusion knowledge, you really don't have to. They're all very easy to use, you just need to know the workflow. So let's jump on over to DaVinci Resolve and I'll have you going in no time. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my clip and if we quickly scroll through it, you can see we fly by this nice cliff and I want to reveal the text over the water and the sky in the background as we pass the cliff here. So in order to do that, you make a timeline and then you go to your color page and down here in the tools in the middle you have the magic mask option. Now you can select either persons where you can mask out a person or you can choose this one to the left, object mask and make sure you have the plus qualifier shown and another good tip is click the three dot menu and show strokes so you can see where you're masking or painting on your image. So paint with broad strokes on your image and to see where what you're masking out turn on show mask overlay make some broad strokes on your subject make sure you get everything out there and since I am masking or showing the title behind the cliff here in the middle I'm not so concerned about the areas down here because it's not going to be visible just make sure you get a good selection and once you have that you can choose better and you can fine tune it and you can see I have a small issue here it's like a bit of the green in the background that I don't want so I go and choose the minus down here click on that make a short stroke a little bit more here that's super cool so that looks good now when we're done with that you can click the forward and backwards tracking button And now when it's done, you can check out the Resolve and this is where you can go and fine tune your edges if you want. You can clean your blacks and whites and add some blur and play a little bit with that if necessary. But I think it's a pretty good selection we've done here. So in order to separate out the background, you have to make an alpha mask. So you right click outside the node and you choose add alpha output. And now you get another alpha output here. So you connect the alpha output from your image to the alpha output in DaVinci and you still see the um, background but you have to turn overlay off and if we go to the beginning now you have masked out your object pretty quickly pretty easy it's a super super cool so in order to get a background back and a title in between we're going to press alt and drag. So in order to get the background separated from the foreground, we are going to move our object mask up to video track one. And then we are going to drag in a new instance of the exact same clip. You have to make sure it's exact same length, exact same clip. And now you have your object in front and your background here in the back. And this is where you can drag in a title in between. And now you can see the title comes here and maybe I want to bring it in a little bit later so I can drag it over so it doesn't show up until around here somewhere and maybe fade the blend in. And let's play that and see how that looks. And there you have it. Object mask, super easy to use, it takes no time to mask out an object, doesn't require any special fusion skills, it might sound intimidating, but super fast and easy to use. So go ahead and create some cool stuff with this. And if you like this video, please give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and we'll be back in no time. Happy grading.